I'm beginning to fit the pieces of holly to the bellflower decoration that is on the front face of this leg. This is the Heppel White table. It's a dressing table. I'll just pull these little pieces of holly out of their respective grooves. I had to bend that holly. I'll show a little bit about that later. I started with a template and marked out all the location of the decoration. Also, it, I located the center point of the arcs so I could place the compass in that center point and create the arc shape. This is 1 16th inch wide. And once I had the parallel edges, then I used that 1 16th inch chisel to create the groove. I'm using the holly here stringing, which I saw in the bandsaw, and it's 1 16th by 1 16th, basically. And then I cut little pieces and I used this large soldering iron with water. I soaked water on the holly and then bent it around that soldering iron to create these little shapes and cut them to fit in length to these sockets. And there, there will be a vertical stringing down the edges of the table that will miter into that upper corner there. It takes two more pieces then butting up to that arc. And you can see there the black that created from the hot soldering iron. So that's how I created the pieces for that upper portion. And then there are the bell flowers, and I have another template here that has the shape of the of the flower petals. And then this piece of holly here is about a sixteenth inch thick. And I just use the template to draw the little pattern and then use a carving tool. This I think I have a number three eight millimeter carving tool here. It takes it takes two swipes at it for each each side of that shape. There, that should do it. That little piece then should I should be able to pick that up. Yeah. Sometimes I create these things a little bit fat. This may be a little bit fat for that space.
you know, it's it's not going in very well. I may just shift that over and see if it fits better in one of these other sockets. Yeah, that fits a lot better. So I'll make another pedal. Um, it just a little bit smaller and fit that other space. So the next step then will be to glue these pieces. Uh, I'll glue those arcs first and I'll also add those two top petals for the flower and I'll do these middle long petals there's the shape for those and later on after that dries up then I'll have to dig out a space right in here. I'm holding off digging that space out because that longer petal there encroaches on these existing two short ones. So those will be glued in place before I actually carve out that socket for that longer middle petal. 